and welcome to Big Bear. And I know that this is probably the last thing you expect to hear in Big Bear, but I promise very soon it's all gonna make sense. Big Bear Lake is truly Southern California's jewel and local favorite quick mountain lake escape. It is located in the middle of San Bernardino National Forest, only about 100 miles northeast of Los Angeles. Big Bear Lake has a community of about 21,000 people and mostly known for the adorable town, snowboarding, skiing, and hiking. But honestly, it is so much more than that. Big Bear is a great and very popular winter getaway, but it has an impressive amount of summer fun things to do. And I listed a lot of them in the description box and on the blog, so please check them out. Today, I have only one day, and that's why I wanted to show you some really special gems. And before we do that, please, if you guys would like to support this channel, like, subscribe, and share this channel with your friends. I travel to different states of the United States and explore nature, culture, and lifestyle of each destination and share my experiences with you. And the goal is to explore all 50 states. And now, uh, let's get to the good stuff. And I promise I'll get to the Hawaiian surprise too. The first stop is Alpine Zoo. It's a truly special animal sanctuary. Every animal at the zoo is basically was rescued from some kind of a form of human interaction. So they had a mama bear's tutu. And she had two babies, a boy, a cup boy and a girl. Uh, she was a three-strike bear, meaning that three times she basically was going into a bakery and capsides and uh, charging at people and they tried to move her three times and she kept coming back. So eventually they had to either uh, bring it to the zoo like this or euthanize them. And interesting, very cute story. When they were transferring uh, bears to here, boy was very much of a mom boy and he cried the entire way until he got reunited with mom that's so like sweet <laughs> the zoo has been open since 1959 after devastating wildfire in San Bernardino National Forest it was just a safe place for injured animals to rehabilitate and give them second chance to go back to the wild do you guys know why they call bald ego bald Please let me know in your comments because I have no idea. <laughs> so uh, the goal for the zoo is to return animals as quickly as possible to the wild. Now they have about 85 species, pretty much every type of animal that lives in Big Bear Valley. Okay, I have some fun facts for you about grizzly bears. First one is that, for, first of all, there's some species of brown bears and they can grow up to 1,000 pounds and 1,000 uh, feet. I'm sorry, 10 feet. <laughs> that would be huge. <laughs> okay, they can run up to 30 miles an hour, but not for too long. Their claws at least four inches long. So they're hibernating about six or seven months a year. Um, they get pregnant through process of delayed implantation. <laughs> It, the, their body is holding the embryo uh, until she gets ready for hibernation. And then they give birth to their babies during hibernation. That would be so nice if we humans could do that. Well, then we would have a lot of children. <laughs> Anyhow, and then so babies, when they're born, they end up, um, they end up just drinking milk until time comes and mom wakes up. Can you believe this? And, oh, there's no more, that's it. <laughs> when in Big Bear, explore the North Shore. The views of the observatory and a lake in the North Shore are absolutely beautiful. The lake is so low right now. This is supposed to be underwater. North Shore is truly my favorite. So definitely go for a walk or bike ride or a hike. I posted this trail map for you in the description box below. Many don't know that Big Bear Lake actually had quite interesting history. For more than 2,000 years, it was populated by the indigenous Serrano Indian tribe, and they called this territory Yuhaviat, which translates into Pine Place. 
and the Serrano looked at the native grizzly bears as ancestors and did not eat the meat or wear a fur of these giants. Things changed in 1846 when a fur trapper and a politician, William, Benjamin Wilson, he came to this area with 20 other men and they were looking for some outlaws who were raiding their ranches in Riverside. And when they came here, they found the, that the area is swarmed with grizzly bears and soon after they uh, the people found gold here so a lot of people moved and as you understand there was no uh, laws and regulations regarding hunting by 1908 the entire valley had not one grizzly bear left in 1930s people introduced grizzly bears to the area again and Technically, that's the reason why uh, black bears were brought here from Yosemite. Next stop is lunch at one of the best spots in the country, famous for its poke bowl. Okay, it's really strange to have a little Hawaiian escape in the middle of mountain resort town, but um, they made a top 15 restaurant list uh, from Yelp uh, in the country. And it's like you're in Hawaii without being in Hawaii and you're in Big Bear. <laughs> it's like a slap in the face to all societal norms and expectations. Tropicali is owned by a unique couple, a multimedia artist Michael Eaton and his wife, actress and surfer Sonoa Lake. So if anyone could do a concept of Hawaii in Big Bear, it's gotta be them. Poke bowl, Hawaiian style, it's amazing. Big Bear is not what it used to be five or seven years ago. It really grew so much. It, uh, there's really fabulous places to eat and great things to do. There's zip line, there's escape room, there's roller coasters and zoo of course. And um, I think that people evolved a lot and were thinking outside of box and creating this kind of moments and experiences for ourselves and um, cheers to that. Kayaking, biking, street electric or mountain, zip lining, riding roller coaster or paddle boarding is a all part of summer fun in Big Bear. And I linked in the description box and the blog. Well, this is it you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please like the video if you liked it. Please subscribe and follow me on Instagram. Here's my handle. And please, if you would like to support this channel, we open the Patreon page. Even $2 donation goes a long way. We'll really appreciate that. All the links to the rest places to eat and things to do uh, are all in the description box below. So check them out. And uh, please share with your friends. This video and the channel and once again thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video peace